Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. I'm ready. Okay, good. Excellent. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. All right, hello, hello. Hello, good evening, welcome to classes. Everything okay? How are you doing? Ready? Ready to practice? All right. We are on our session number 12, right? And today is Tuesday, October the 10th of 2023. This is our session number 12. Yes, good evening, good evening. Well, you are such a hardworking population. Okay. Well, these are the normal reminders. I always add this class, the session. I hope everything is fine. Everything is okay. We're still talking about logistics, but I bet this is going to be our last, well, hopefully the last session talking about logistics. And we're going to be able to introduce the new unit so that we can uh, discuss some other content as well. Okay. Well, we're still talking about the, the checklist to evaluate a good third party logistic service. And it's very important that you all have your manual so that you can um, follow the content that we are reviewing, that we are practicing, that we are studying. Okay. So, without any further ado, I'm going to have the attendance, something very important to start with, okay? Let me get the attendance. All right, here we go. Okay, here it is. Let me just get to the correct date. This is the... Um, Oh my God, I think something is wrong here. But anyways, today is the 10th, right? October 10th. Yes. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think something is wrong with the date on the official list. But anyways, they will fix it later, hopefully. All right, Abigail Elizabeth. Atilio Ernesto. Not connected. Elizabeth Stephanie. Present. Hi. Emerson Alexander. Emerson. Not here. Fernando. He said something on the chat. Yes. All right. Okay. Maria is on her way home. Emerson. Sorry, still working. All right. Francisco Ernesto. Hazel Vanessa. 
Juan Antonio, Julissa, Carla, Luis Javier, Luis Miguel, my kid. Okay, my kid is out. Present teacher. Hey, hey. Manuel Alexander. Present teacher. Hello. How are you? Marilyn. I am fine. Nice. Glad to hear that. Present. Madeline, present. Mario Ernesto. Present. Hello. Roberto Saúl. Present teacher. Hello. Ronald Alexander. Not here, Ronald, today. Victor Noy. Vidal. Present teacher. Juan Deer. Nope. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Present. All right. Okay, very good. Well, some people say present on the chat. Okay, so nice. Well, to start with, I would like you to start with actual exercise okay we're going to give you give me one second yes yeah, a very simple exercise i'm going to add the link for you to work okay this is something we've been discussing a lot this is something we've been describing and talking a lot throughout this last lessons probably the last week and last lesson which is a third party logistic provider right so the 3pl right so i'm going to add this link here on the chat access to the exercise try to complete it and once you are done with this exercise complete with the vocabulary about their party logistic and then we are going to compare okay here is the link on the chat okay work work and then we are going to compare
All right, finish. No. Not yet. In progress. All right.
Hello, Manuel. Hi. You did. Uh, you work in the link? Yes, I finished just now. Uh, me too, but I had a five to five. Yeah, uh, incorrect three answer. The number one is correct for me. For what is three PM? Uh, you. What are you? Are you incorrect this answer for number one? Yes. Um, I made incorrect, but I think uh. What is 3 PL? I write third party logistic provider. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But I have a wrong. Yeah, me too. I have a wrong. Yeah, I write provider of size logistic services, but it's incorrect for this. Question. Mm -hmm. um, second, second part. I second part. I have correct the number one and four. Uh, the number one the standard provider and the number four customer provider. I have incorrect the 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 two and three. I have. Uh, I had on, only one correct. Number two, service developer. Service developer officer, specialist service, including tracking and tracing or security. Okay, me too. I have incorrect this too. Uh -huh. uh, I, yeah, it's a friend. And the number three is on demand transportator. It's FTR has fought. Next flight of an international expired shipping. Uh -huh. Okay, and yeah. um, the session. Section three? I have correct all the C? exercise. Yeah, C, A, A B, B, D. D. Ah, oh, that's right. Okay, and okay. um, the, the last one. Um, I have correct all the four sentences. I have two four two correct and two incorrect. Mm, okay, I um, have uh, correct the number three and four. Delivering damage products because of several speaking is unacceptable that is true and mm. orders don't have to be verified with customer that is false okay uh, i had correct the number one two and credit card authorization takes place during the order processing it's true outbound activities shouldn't be done in timely manner is false Okay. okay. Only that. I don't know mm -hmm. if we are working with someone else. Any any anything else? No. I don't think so. We, uh, I think that we only to talk about the answer for this exam. Okay, we wait for the return for the class. I think so. Okay.
All right, everybody finished? Yes? Good. Okay. Shall we? What is a uh, 3PL? What is 3PL? Third party logistics. Did anybody get the definition right? Mm -hmm. No one? All right, the first one, nobody got it right, nobody got it correct. Please tell me. I had incorrect uh, sentence. Really? Because I think I think uh, I write uh, three party logistic uh, provider. Mm. Okay. Let's see. Yes, third party logistic provides offers of source logistic service, which okay, this is a definition that I consider would be accepted. Okay. Okay. What about the sentences? The incomplete sentences. Okay. Sorry, my dog is making sounds. All right, sorry. Let's come back. So the first one says performance, fix and pack, warehousing distribution service. What did you complete with the sentence? Mm -hmm. And the exercise too. Yes. Uh, I had uh, I had the first standard provider performance pick and pack, mm -hmm. housing and distribution services. All right, very good. Distribution service. Yes. That would be a standard provider. Yes. All right. Hold on. Hold on a second. Offers a specialized service including tracking and tracing on security. The second one. Mm -hmm. Maybe service developer. Service developer. All right. Is FTL host has hot next flight out of the international is fated shipping on demand transport on demand transport yes. mm 
performs very detailed tasks, also works with customers. Customer provider. Mm -hmm. Customer provider. Oh, provider. Wait a second. Provider. All right. And the synonyms land, documents, store, deliver. Land is letter C. Is that the factory? factory. Uh -huh. You say the factory or the production plants, right? Two documents. Letter C. Letter A. Sorry, make notes. Make notes, right. Store? Uh, letter B, sell goods in a warehouse. In a warehouse, that's right. And deliver? Transport. Transport. That was easy. <laughs> that was yes. the easiest, right? Credit card authorization takes place during the order processing. True or false? True. True, true, true. Uh, outbound activities shouldn't be done in a timely manner. False. False. Delivering damaged products because of careless packaging is unacceptable. True. True. Orders don't have to be verified with customers. False. False. Okay. Let's see what we got. Yay. Correct is standard. Yeah, the concept even. It's because of the way they sit, right? The standard, yes. Because of the way they, they set probably the page, that's why it doesn't accept the, the definition. Yeah. Well, what is uh third party logistic provider? So yes, it's it's an outsourcing that provides logistic services to any business or in company, right? Okay, very good, very good. Well done. Second. Yes, here we go. Okay. Well, let's move on. The content. I was telling you about that we're going to finish. But this last exercise from the manual for the book that you were provided. And on this exercise is, well, something very similar to what you did yesterday, right? In pairs, create a checklist with 10 to 15 items. Here, I only took about eight. To evaluate a third-party logistics provider, and use items from the, from the checklist in the previous page. And at others that you think are important. Evaluation checklist, third party logistic partner. Directions, please check the column yes or no to answer each of the statements below. Okay, I'm gonna show you from the manual because of any example you might need. So let me just go ahead from here. Okay, as you remember, this is something we worked on yesterday on the previous class, okay, we worked on this concept, right? And then we discussed, right? The checklists are very important in order to evaluate the third party logistic candidates are the most appropriate for transporting our goods or our products, right? So these are some of the examples. They are financially stable with a long history of successful operations. So something similar you have to add to this list. And once you, you share it with your partner, your partner will say, oh yeah, that is important, that is not important, right? So these are some of the examples you already have. They have great references. They have a disaster recovery plan. They offer cross-stocking cap capability. 
they offer straightforward services, they have experience. So you can say they are well known, they are recognized around the world. Most uh, famous business recommend them, they have very good recommendations, they have very good, um, probably insurance. Okay, so you can talk about this aspects that you should consider or they have good rating on the social media or people recognize them or I don't know, whatever you want to add, right? So this is also very important that they have a leadership in, in environmental design certification. They care about the environment. They don't contaminate or they have very good uh, warehousing services as well. So then you can include here, the list comes from, uh, well, it comes from 10 to 50. So probably you can add, maybe not necessarily to 12, but if you already add around six, seven, it's okay. So that you can compare with your partner, okay? Try to complete it and then we're gonna compare with our partner. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to work on this task. Mm -hmm.
Hi, good evening. Hi. Um, do you have your examples? Uh, I have I have some uh, some annotations. Uh, we have to we have to construct the the list of ten or fifteen mm. factors to evaluate. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, I have um to evaluate the uh, um if the uh, evaluate the price of the services. I think this that is one. I have uh, if they have contract with the government. Um, also, if they have sustainability and environment practice, uh, they offer flexibility in case of an emergency. If they mm -hmm. offer insurance, if they are a big company. I have if if, if they if they have um e uh. uh how many services they provide if they if they have a portfolio of services that i could need um mm. in the future uh, is it, it could be a a good uh, variable to decide mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or if they have a if they have reasons uh, if they have operations in other outside the country in whatever countries can uh, can they they offer their services mm, okay it makes, it makes sense uh -huh. what else can be What? Um, what else can can be? I think that uh, uh, I think that the condition of the of the equipment uh, it could be important if the mm -hmm. the, That's true. the quality uh, or the uh -huh, the if it is the right condition of the equipment. Yeah. I remember that in the place I worked, there was someone that still used an, a computer with a window X, 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 XP. <laughs> yes, uh, uh -huh. I, I think that uh, but in the software that I, it, it is the technological tools and the infrastructure, um, for example, the um, uh, the condition of the, of the trucks uh, and all of that, I think that it should have a a motor a motor equipment. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's true. I agree with that. I don't know more than that. If anyone have an uh, have another else.
All right, everybody return. Let's see, let's see. Okay, who would like to share? Remember that anything that you consider it's important in order to evaluate the third party logistic partner. Yeah, you should write it down on the list. Let's see. Give me any aspect that you included on the checklist. Mm -hmm. Anyone? Yes. They offer insurance. Thank you. Insurance. All right. Any other? Mm -hmm. uh, if they have a mother um a mother equipment uh updated equipment mm -hmm. all right mother and updated equipment right for vehicles, right? Mm -hmm. I think that uh, maybe is if they have a, a how do you say, a, a variety of options, like a portfolio, a diverse mm -hmm. portfo por por portfolio. Mm -hmm. They have the various portfolio. Mm -hmm. So they have different uh, type of transportation, different options. Okay. Any other? Good rating. For example, people have given them like Five stars, they say, oh, that's a good service, good customer service. Mm -hmm. Any other? Yes. They offer a reporting system, like when you see uh, where is your Pedido. I don't know how to do. A tracking. A tracking. A tracking. Tracking. Uh -huh. tracking. tracking system. Uh -huh. Nice. So you can track where your orders go, where your products coming, right? Any other? Mm -hmm. So all of these are considered necessary, okay, in order to evaluate. I would say if they have a program of benefits uh, for loyalty clients or uh, or uh -huh, the, uh, any kind of benefits, uh, the, the reference, if I if I hire uh, more services, something that uh, mm -hmm. uh, guarantees the loyalty of the client. Like the um, a sorry, like uh, VIP <laughs> program mm -hmm. for frequent clients. Mm -hmm. Benefits like discounts. For coupons, right? Okay. 
Great. Well, these things are important. And yes, definitely. You want to have good service. You are paying for an outsourcing to transport to deliver your products. Definitely. You want to evaluate all of this. All right. Nice. Very good. Congratulations to the ones that were thinking, we're working on that um, exercise. Well, we're going to have, give me one second, I just chose this one. Yeah, I have a very interesting activity. Remember that we were going to be taking this just um, grammar or vocabulary build up rates. So I'm going to share this one. This is not from the, I mean, the logistic content, but something that is going to build up your knowledge in English. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna work on this exercise. And I, I bet this is gonna be pretty quick because it's just a couple of sentences for you to explore a little bit on the language. So open it up. Right. You have to order the sentence, but I mean, you got this group of words to make a sentence, but they are in disorder. So you have to unscramble them. You, you just click on them and put them in the right order. And then when you get the right order, the, the page automatically gives you the next one and so on and so on. All right. So we're gonna and we're gonna compare just in a while.
Bye. Hi. Did you finish the exercise? No yet.
Um, do you want to, to do the exercise? Like if I share the, the screen and we try to solve it. Okay. Uh, this would be um some handicrafts are aren't exported. Uh -huh. This one was uh, Mexican food. I serve with. I serve with. Hot sauce. It's that. Hot sauce. The uh, the national anthem the national anthem is sung before a sports event. Mm -hmm. um, most traditional foods are made are made. Most of, most, of, most of their traditional food is are made with vegetable. Yeah. Um, in Japan, uh, or I uh, no. Uh, shows, uh, the shoes aren't worn in house in Japan, I think. In the house in Japan. Shoes aren't worn in the house in Japan. Uh huh. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, traditional, I don't know, Scottish or traditional Scottish music is played as fest at festivals. Mm -hmm. Jewelry is made out of silver. Um, so are built on the beach. Rio Carnival is uh, is held every year, but the big is uh, I've had a big carnival, carnival is held every year in Rio. Rio. On oh, oh, is and the pottery is and uh, painted by hand.
Let's see the Rio one. Uh, it's held in Rio every year, no, every year in Rio. All right, do you have any question about the exercise? How was the exercise? Was it easy? Yes. Very easy. Yes. <laughs> All right, nice. Well, we keep going. Great. Well, we've been talking about logistics for this past unit. I hope you still have this vocabulary fresh. You still have this content available there in your mind so that you can complete the Oh my God, yes, we should be completing the unit two on the platform and the midterm. Hopefully by tomorrow, you'll be able to complete the midterm, okay? So that you don't forget the information from the first and second unit, all right? So moving on, yes, I know we've been talking about this lots of vocabulary and lots of concepts probably that we don't use on a daily basis conversation so we gotta study we gotta read a little bit okay and of course we're gonna get started with the unit three and you'll be able to describe the fundamentals of warehouse management okay so this is a new unit yes we're gonna get started because we're going uh yes on this lesson we're gonna get started it says what would happen if the warehouse of a very busy company reaches its maximum capacity how would you avoid overcrowding in a warehouse that's a very important question what would happen if a warehouse of a very busy company reaches its maximum capacity so imagine there are many big companies in our country that produce different goods, right? What happens if their warehouse reaches, well, reach their maximum capacity? What would they do? What do you think is an option? What would be one of the solutions? Mm -hmm. They would stop producing. I think that's an alternative. Or is there any other possibility to solve this problem? Uh -huh. Maybe 
searching like a temporal warehouse. Probably that would be the most doable solution. Look for or search for a temporary warehouse, right? Mm -hmm. Any other alternative? Renting <laughs> a space in in another company's warehouse, like searching for another right for a temporary box. All right, or probably putting their products on sales. Could be. Don't you think? Or having this big sales and discounts to retailers could be another. Mm -hmm. And how would avoid overcrowding in the warehouse? What the strategies the companies have to implement in order to avoid overcrowding, like getting too much? Too much product, too much um, packaging. What can be done in order to avoid overcrowding? For a uh, 3PO, uh, uh, well, uh, alert, uh, uh, um, a warehouse that, oh, and Excuse me. <laughs> like to outsource that that the warehouse mm -hmm. to company has, that has more capacity. Right to hire to hire a third party logistic provider so that they can have a, a bigger warehouse to have more capacity, more space. All right, that could be that could be one option. Mm -hmm. Is there any other? Exploiting, selling, <laughs> yes, hiring a very effective. Outsourcing for delivery, yes, for moving, for transporting their products. Yes, that would be some other options as well. Okay. Well, we're going to move to this conversation. I'm going to read it first so that you can have some time to practice a little bit. It says, Rose and Matt are discussing storage problems they are facing in the warehouse where they hold their shipments. Read and practice the conversations, right? Sir, we just received the call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere and they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse yes sir they asked if if we had some other warehouse we could use i will get documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse it is costly but the pros come first all right I will do it once again so that you can double check in case you have any difficulties with anywhere. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we had some other warehouse we could use. 
I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. All right. Any difficulties? Any question? Okay, you may need some minutes to practice. Okay, practice, practice, and in a couple of minutes, yes, you will do the conversation with a partner. So I'm gonna choose different names and the, oh yeah, the order in which I name you, you're gonna be either Rose or Matt. Okay, try to practice as much as you can.
Okay, ready? Ready, ready. Yes. yes. Okay, so I'm going to make you work in pairs. And the first pair, according to Zoom, is Fernando and Manuel. Good evening, teacher. Hello. I just came home. Are you able to? Mm, yes. All right. So you start, and Manuel is the second character. Okay, I'm Manuel. ready. Manuel, you ready? Well, we don't have any answer from another. Something must happen. So, you want to start, Fernando, or should I? I will help. Okay. Miss, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That's a very expensive shipment. Our colors will get damaged if they left if they are left lying anywhere. So can they arrange for the transportation of the shipment to a different warehouse? Just yes, means they ask if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. All right, thank you. The group two is made by Luis Miguel and Walid. Okay. Ready? Yes. Walid? Yes. All right, good. One, two, three, go. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived to today and and it seems they now have more space to store up products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of the shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They are asking if we have some other warehouse we call use. I will get I will get the document ready to outsource the shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the product can press first. Great. The next group says Mario and Ronald. Good. Are you start? Mm, yes, just make sure that Mario is going to be able to answer. Mario? Or if you like, Ronald, you can be mad. I will help you. Okay. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems that they don't have more space to sort our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of the shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we had a, if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to alter this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come come first. Thanks. Very good. 
uh, room four says Abigail in Carlos. Well, the next one says Carla in Francisco. Neither nor. Next one, Atilio and Marilyn. Creo que Carla dijo que sí, pero creo que el compañero no contestó. Ok, so Marilyn and Carla. Ok. Ok. Marilyn, you wrong or okay. I wrong? Ok, and me. Ok. Ok, sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our product. There is, there is a shipment. Your problem with the damage is they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of the shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They ask if we have some other warehouse we could use. I would get the document ready to outsource this treatment to a temporary warehouse. It, it is costly, but the product comes first. Very good, nice. Well, the next groups, Hazel and Roberto. Hazel and Roberto. You ready? Neither nor. Vidal and Stephanie. Well, Victor and Julissa. No more. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, a couple of you already practiced. That's great. So this is the pair work you have to do. Discuss these questions mm -hmm. and that's something you have to discuss mm -hmm. in there. So what happened to that current mm -hmm. warehouse? What could happen to the shipment if mm -hmm. it's not carefully stored? And what does Matt do about the problem? Okay. Mm -hmm. So try to answer them first so that you can have an answer already structured when you compare your answers with your partner. All right.
I will do. You are available to do the exercise. Yes. Um, what happened to Matt's current warehouse? What happened to Matt's current warehouse? We've seen that we doesn't have more space to store their product. What mm, will yes. happen? Hmm? Yes, yes. What will happen to the treatment if it's not carefully stored? The product will get damaged if they are left lying anyway. Yes. And what does Matt do about the problem? Get the treatment to a temporary warehouse. Yes, he will get the documents to outsource the shipment. Mm, that's true. All right, let's double check your answers. What happens to Matt's current warehouse? They don't have any more space. Exactly, they are overpacked, overcrowded. They don't have more space to pack or oh, right, or to store the products. What could happen to the shipment if it's not carefully stored? It can get damaged. It could get damaged, right? Definitely. And what does Matt do about the problem? He will get the documents for absorb the shipment to exactly. a temporary warehouse. Exactly. He started working on the documentation so he can hire mm -hmm. uh, an outsourcing, right? So that would be their part logistics probably so that he could move the products mm -hmm. of the shipment to another warehouse. All right. Great. I bet we're done with this. So we're going to get the attendance ASAP. Okay. Abigail, Archidio, President, Elizabeth Stephanie, Emerson Present. Alexander, Fernando Jose, Present Teacher, Francisco Ernesto, Hazel, Julissa, Carla. Luis Javier, Luis Miguel, Magdiel, 
Manuel Alexander Vázquez. Present. Marilyn. Mario Ernesto. Present. Roberto Esaú. Ronald Alexander. Victor Noé. Present. Vidal Byron. Walid. Carlos Alberto. Present. All right. Well, is there any question? No? Are you sure? For no the questions? next class, for tomorrow, the end of the class, we can already do the mid exam. Exactly, the midterm. That's right. And when is the last day that we can do the midterm? You can do it tonight if you like, but you will have until tomorrow because it's the middle of this, the third week. So by this time, we okay. should be done, yes, with the unit two on the platform and the midterm. Okay. All right. Yes. Anything else? Anybody no, else? Too. Sure. Yes. All right. Okay. No more to add. Be safe and sound. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, teacher. Night. Thanks, teacher. See you tomorrow. Night. See you. See you, teacher. You...